Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to do your very first inventory count. This video should be especially useful if you are switching from a previous system and are worried about how you're going to transfer your inventory. So if you're coming into Lightspeed as a brand new customer, the very first thing you're going to do is load the system with your products. I've just put in three demo products just as an example. So you can see I have demo product one, demo product two, demo product three, and none of these have any sort of inventory history because we've never done anything with them. So let's go ahead and do your very first inventory count to add inventory to these three products. So go to menu, inventory, then click on inventory counts. Obviously we are going to click on new inventory count and give it a name. Let's just call this demo count. And if you have multiple shops, you can select here what shop you're counting in. Click save changes. This is gonna bring you to the inventory count screen. There's a few different ways that you can count. The easiest way is with a barcode, whether it's wired or wireless. A wireless Bluetooth scanner will help you count with just an iPad. It's very convenient and can be very quick. Your staff doesn't even have to be too careful to know if there's any sort of inventory mixed up on shelves because if you're just scanning every single item, it's gonna count everything no matter where it is in the store. If you don't have access to a barcode scanner, that's fine too. You can manually search for the product. So let's go ahead and do that. I've set up my SKUs as DP1, DP2, DP3. So I'm just gonna type in DP1, click enter or click plus count and that adds the product to our count. It also gives us a count of one. So there's a couple different ways if there's more than one of those products in your store to count this. Let's go ahead and add another one, DP1. You can see it adds in the list a second line item, but there's also another way to count quantity. If we type in DP2 for our second product and we know we have 20 of those in stock, we have physically counted 20, you can type in two zero and then click enter and you'll notice that it adds 20 to that line item. So let's go ahead and add a couple of more counts. So here's our full count of everything in the store. It's also important to note here that it shows you the employee that counted that individual count. You'll notice that on demo product three, there's two different counts, one of 40 and one of one. If you happen to know that you made a mistake at any point during the inventory count, this will help you determine what employees counted where and you can physically have them point out the different places in the store. You may very well run into a situation where two employees count the same item. And on the left hand side, you can click totals. This is gonna give you a nice list of just the individual SKUs and how many of them in total have been counted. The next item on the left is called missed. That's only important if you're doing your second inventory count. This will show you anything that was in stock that didn't get physically counted. Reconcile, when you're done and you know everything is correct in your count, you simply click this button and it'll add everything to your inventory and you can start using Lightspeed right away. So go ahead and click reconcile inventory. We're gonna confirm that we're okay with this. So that's gonna update our system. Let's go back to the inventory menu and we'll bring up our demo products and you'll see now that they have inventory added to them. And you can also note that in the inventory section of each product, it shows you a history of what happened, how much cost was added and the sale value. It also shows you the date of the count if you ever had to go back and double check something. And if you go back to your inventory menu and into inventory counts, you'll see a nice list has arrived here. You can always go back to this count uh, for data and again, to look up anything that happened during the count. So that's how your first inventory count works in Lightspeed. I really hope this helps and brings you some sort of value. Thanks for checking out this video.